It was a hot summer day on July 8, 1987, when the people of Carlsbad, New Mexico were shaken to the core. The reason? The body of 38-year-old Donna Sue Hyatt was discovered in her home on Elm Street. The crime was unimaginable, and there were signs that she had been assaulted as well as being stabbed and strangled prior to her demise. The whole community of Carlsbad was left in shock, wondering who could have committed such a heinous act against an innocent woman. How did the police crack the case after all these years? Welcome to Cold Case Files, where we bring you the stories of America's notorious cold cases. Today, we are looking at the 36-year-old cold case finally solved in 2023 of the murder of Donna Sue Hyatt. But first, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe and like buttons. Now, without any further ado, let's dive into the mystery. Carlsbad, a city nestled in the southeastern region of New Mexico, is renowned for its breathtaking scenery of caves, limestone cliffs, and desert landscapes adorned with cacti. The Carlsbad Caverns National Park, with over 100 limestone caves displaying distinct formations, serves as a safe haven for nature enthusiasts worldwide. Visitors can engage in various recreational activities, such as rock climbing and ATV tours, while also exploring the local history exhibits featured in several art galleries. However, the city's idyllic reputation was shattered when a heinous crime took place leaving its residents in fear and disbelief. Donna Sue Hyatt's birth on August 28, 1948, was a momentous occasion for her parents, Roger Marvin Black and Sybil Lunsford Black, who eagerly welcomed their new daughter into the world. Growing up, Donna shared a close bond with her sisters, Marlene Johnson and Sandra Daniel, and they spent countless hours playing together around the house. Donna's education began at the local schools in Carlsbad, where she excelled in her studies and developed a passion for learning. She went on to pursue higher education at New Mexico State University, where she continued to thrive academically and personally. Outside of her studies, Donna was an active member of both the First Baptist Church and the Christian Women's Club, dedicating her time to serving her community and living out her faith. Her kind and generous nature endeared her to those around her, and she quickly became a beloved member of both organizations. Donna had a family that was the envy of many. She shared a deep love with her husband, and their daughter Angela was the shining star of their lives. However, tragedy struck when Angela stumbled upon a gruesome sight in their bedroom. Her mother lay lifeless and partially clothed. The sheer horror of the scene was overwhelming for Angela, who had to witness the unthinkable happening to her beloved mother. Despite her bright future and the joy that she brought to those around her, Donna's life was tragically cut short, leaving her family and friends devastated by their loss. The pain of saying goodbye to someone so full of potential was a heartbreak that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. On the fateful day of July 8, 1987, the sun beat down on the quiet town of Carlsbad with its usual relentless heat. As the day wore on, Donna Sue Hyatt went about her usual routine, carrying out household chores and attending to her daily responsibilities. However, as night crept in, a sense of foreboding began to settle in the air. Little did she know that tragedy lurked in the shadows, waiting to strike. At around 11.40 p.m., Donna's daughter Angela arrived home to find a harrowing scene. Her mother's lifeless body, on the floor, surrounded by bruises and stab wounds. The shock and disbelief that engulfed Angela were almost too much to bear as she struggled to come to terms with the horrifying reality before her. 
After taking a moment to collect herself, Donna's daughter realized that she needed to take action. She knew that she had to alert authorities right away. Without hesitation, she dialed the emergency number and informed the dispatcher of the grim discovery. The police were dispatched to the scene immediately. The investigation was a mystery that baffled the entire Carlsbad community. The city was in shock when the news of the death of a young woman hit the headlines. The Carlsbad Police Department detectives were quick to respond to the crime scene as soon as they were notified. The detectives cautiously entered the home and began their investigation. The detectives were quick to take control of the scene. They combed through the scene of the crime, collecting valuable evidence, including foreign DNA, which they stored away, hoping it would be useful later in the investigation. Upon investigation, detectives learned that Donna was last seen in the company of a tall Caucasian man who was seen leaving a nearby store on foot around 9.15 p.m. on the day of her untimely death. This crucial piece of information became the starting point of the detectives' investigation, and they worked tirelessly to identify the man and uncover any other leads that could help solve the case. As the investigation into Donna's tragic death continued, the Carlsbad Police Department detectives meticulously interviewed all involved parties, witnesses, and family members to piece together the sequence of events but they were unable to turn up any solid leads to follow. The absence of concrete evidence and advanced technology at the time proved to be a major roadblock in bringing justice to the Hyatt family. As a result, the case went cold, and justice seemed like a distant dream for the family of Donna Sue Hyatt and the Carlsbad community as a whole. In 2023, Detective Joey Landgraf and Detective Tim Nice, both from the Carlsbad Police Department, picked up the 36-year-old cold homicide case and embarked on a mission to identify the perpetrator. With the help of new investigative techniques, they were able to unlock valuable leads and send the crime scene evidence collected all those years ago to Othram where advanced DNA sequencing was conducted using forensic-grade genome sequencing to build a comprehensive DNA profile of the suspect. The FBI's forensic genetic genealogy team used this DNA profile to develop leads, and after reviewing both new and existing evidence, Landgraf and Nice pinpointed a man named Michael Ruff Wigley as the prime suspect in this case but how could they confirm their suspicions? They looked further into his past to find if he was in Carlsbad around the time of the assault and murder. The detectives were able to match his description with that of the suspect provided by the witnesses earlier in the investigation, further solidifying Wigley as a prime suspect in the case. The detectives made a significant breakthrough by identifying Wigley as a person of interest, through extensive research, the Carlsbad Police Department determined that Michael Ruff Wigley was indeed present in Carlsbad during the time of the assault and murder of Donna. This discovery led them down a path of further investigation, ultimately uncovering Wigley's past criminal record and his connection to this case. Upon delving deeper into Wigley's profile, detectives unearthed a shocking fact about Michael Ruff Wigley's past. He had been investigated for two separate incidents of sexual assault in Central Texas in the early 1980s, and he was ultimately convicted and sentenced to prison for one of those incidents. This revelation shed new light on the case and helped detectives understand the gravity of the situation they were dealing with. The investigation took an unexpected turn when they discovered that Michael Ruff Wigley, the person of interest in the case, had passed away in a traffic accident in 1989 after his release from prison. Undeterred, they obtained a search warrant for Wigley's exhumation and DNA collection, and with the support of Amarillo, Texas law enforcement, 
executed the search warrant with precision and care. The collected DNA samples were then subjected to the KIN-SNP testing by Othram, which definitively identified Wigley as the culprit behind Donna Sue Hyatt's murder in July 1987. The detectives went above and beyond by not only relying on DNA evidence to solve the case, but also conducting interviews with witnesses and family members. Through their diligent work, they were able to further confirm Wigley's presence in Carlsbad at the time of the assault and murder, solidifying his guilt beyond a shadow of a doubt. The partnership between the Carlsbad Police Department's detectives and Othram Lab, a private lab based in Texas, marks a notable development in forensic science and crime scene investigation. By conducting DNA testing, the detectives were able to compare DNA samples collected from the crime scene to those obtained from the exhumed remains of Wigley, the suspect. While it may seem like a difficult feat to close such an old unsolved case, the detectives' unwavering commitment and persistence allowed them to successfully bring justice to the Hyatt family and the community. The process not only brought closure to the family, but also served as a testament to the detectives' dedication to their work. The impact of this achievement also reverberated beyond the case, as it restored the community's trust in law enforcement and highlighted the value of cooperation and innovation in the fight against crime. The memories of that fateful night still lingered in the minds of the officers and detectives who had responded to the scene back in 1987. They had worked tirelessly to preserve the crime scene's integrity, collecting every potential piece of evidence that could aid in the investigation. It was their diligence and dedication that proved to be the difference maker, as their work enabled officers to bring closure to the case almost four decades later. Carlsbad Mayor Dale Janway made sure to recognize the effort of these officers and detectives, acknowledging their hard work and commitment to the case. The city of Carlsbad also stepped up, providing financial assistance to ensure that the DNA in the case could be tested and analyzed. It is our sincere hope that the recent efforts and the efforts of those involved in 1987 can bring some small form of peace and closure to the family of Donna Sue Hyatt and the community of Carlsbad, Janway said. When do you think justice was served in this case? At the time of Wigley's demise? Or after he was charged with the crime after his death so many years later? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.